Good afternoon, I'm Marilyn Torres. I am a Broward College student that's enrolled in Dr. Stewart's Anatomy Physiology 2 lecture. And today I'm talking about the sexual cycle and the control of um, ovulation and that happens in women. The sexual cycle, it happens every single month unless you're pregnant. So if a pregnancy occurs, you will not have it monthly. And it has includes the ovarian cycle and the menstrual cycle. The ovarian cycle happens in the ovaries and the menstrual cycle happens in the uterus. Um, the sexual cycle has a follicular phase and a post ovulatory um, phase, and each phase has two sub phases. So, starting with the follicular phase, the follicular phase um, happens for two weeks. It starts with the menstrual cycle, the menstruation phase, and that's when menstruation occurs. It starts on the first day of the cycle, and it can last for to three days to five days, depending on the woman, and that's when menstruation occurs. And then the endometrium of the uterus starts to repair its lost endometrium and then the pre-ovulatory phase happens that's when the follicle is growing maturing and developing under the secretion of follicle stimulating hormone so this prepares for ovulation ovulation occurs around day 14 and that's under luteinizing hormone direction so when luteinizing hormone is secreted from the anterior pituitary it um, secretes um, that hormone and ovulation occurs. So after ovulation, we have the post ovulatory phase, which is another two weeks. It starts with um, its sub phases and it has the luteal phase. The luteal phase is when the corpus um, luteum occurs. So after the ovulation happens, the o o secondary oocyte releases from the follicle. The follicle becomes the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum um, secretes progesterone. Progesterone um, thickens the lining of the endometrium. So an increased amount of progesterone causes a secretory phase of menstruation, which, like I mentioned before, thickens the endometrium in the uterus. Then the premenstrual phase happens. The premenstrual phase happens, um, and if there's no pregnancy, so there's no pregnancy occurring, then the corpus luteum becomes the corpus albicans because it ha goes through involution, which causes like atrophy of it, and it becomes scar tissue, and that's the corpus albicans. Corpus albicans causes a decrease of progesterone, and that causes the endometrial lining to shed, and then we have menstruation. So that's the whole cycle. Now, the control of relation happens when the mature follicle um, secretes estrogen, and then the hypothalamus sees that because it's the control center, and the hypothalamus secretes gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which acts on the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary secretes luteinizing hormone, which I mentioned before, um, causes ovulation. So the secondary oocyte is released from the follicle, and ovulation occurs. Thank you.